Yeah. Um, so the main character I'm playing is Dick Swiveller. Uh, Dick Swiveller, Richard Swiveller, is uh, a young man, relatively, uh, relatively lost soul, but he's kind of got got his feet, you know, back on the ground. He, he's got himself a a house and he's kind of moving forward in his life but he's from quite a different place from the rest of the characters he's um from a different uh social group as a from a very different genre or style of people so he's much more from an estate or he's much more street he's much more urban and street whereas perhaps Nell and Kit might be a bit more from a sort of hippie alternative sort of style background he would be much more representing the hip hop, grime, the street, you know, that that kind of world. You know, he's much more tracksuit nylon than wool and tweed. You know? um, he's very much into his music. He's a musician. Um, he writes lyrics a lot of the time. He, he plays. Um, he, he's got decks and he plays with vinyl. And he plays with beats all the time. And he tries to. Um, he tries to. He tries to communicate his feelings about the world through music and through lyrics. Uh, and he tries to connect with people and charm people through that as well. I think he is optimism in the play. You know, a lot of the story is um, some quite awful things happen to the people we really care about in the play. And I think he's someone that keeps a light a lightness to it. You know, he's a serious character, but he's got, he's a, he, as I say, he's very funny, he's very likeable, and he's got a lot of laughs, and so he's somebody who, who keeps on drawing us back up so we don't get too, you know, too dragged down with the negative, you know, too dragged down with, with the awfulness of it. He's, he's somebody who, who's, yeah, he, he's like this sort of floating um, vibe that, that, that's up on top of it. Um, yeah, he, he's definitely a positive, optimistic side of things. I think he's a connector as well between the two. So if you've got the bad guys and you've got the good guys, he's neither. He's he's used by the bad guys without knowing that they're the bad guys, but he's actually on the side of the good guys. But he doesn't know anybody's bad or good. He just likes people and is getting on with it. It's only later in the story he starts to discover that actually perhaps people are up to no good and maybe his moral shift comes later where he starts to make decisions about where he will side. From the beginning, he's really the... I'd say from a third of the way in, he's definitely this connecting motion where he links the bad and the good as a neutral force almost. Because he actually connects, he haphazardly connects Quilp with Nell anyway, simply by the fact that Nell and he are connected by mobile phones. The fact that they phone each other means that they've got this connection and they text each other. So they've got this, this, this connection going on throughout that, that Quilp tries to take advantage of. You know? yeah. But they're very much connected with it and, and he is um, a bit of a satellite. Oh, if she's a satellite or a rocket going off somewhere, he's, he's the way he can, he can connect back to that, you know, and keep her back in, back in London, I suppose, essentially. Or, yeah.